just came up with a really good four-word cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. Two cups vanilla extract. Jesus Christ! This is a bucket. A vanilla extract. Dear God. There's more. No. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. It's me, Eyes. Today we've got some Tumblr. It's, it's gonna be great. Got some more videos even lined up later this week. It's gonna be a good week. Anyways, gotta get these things out of the way before we get started. <laughs> Believe it or not, God is gay. Can you elaborate on that? No. Jesus, his image barely survived the shift between dimensions. I can leave the bathroom door open while I'm cleaning my bathroom. I reasoned to myself. Surely my beloved cat Meatball isn't dumb enough to try and jump into an open toilet full of Clorox. So, I caught this tiny little fool mid fucking air. I watched him start leaping, and time literally slowed down, and then he had the audacity, the nerve, to beep indignantly at me for ruining his plans. You deny me the toilet milk caretaker. Meatball will remember this. To keep animals mentally and physically stimulated, zoo animals are often given enrichment items, like this snow. Yeah, they, uh... They gave him cocaine, that's... <laughs> that's not snow. Funny you should say that, that's my enrichment item too. Did, did you just unearth a cat from a pot of soil? Yes, the harvest is bountiful this year. My little gremlin didn't knock over the pot of soil and now I'm holding him like a baby out of punishment. Look at those guilty eyes, he knows what he did! But he is forgiven, as he always will be. Hmm. Hey guys, does anyone know where you can bulk buy at Allegra over the counter? I need more than what CVS stocks to make the batter for my world famous Allegra chicken. Christy, <laughs> you even added them. <laughs> Allegra verified. Hello, please only take Allegra as directed. Find directions, uses, and warnings on our website here, allegra.com slash products. We, uh, we would like to hear more about how you're using Allegra. Please, uh, please give our consumer affairs department a call at phone number. This is, uh... This is company talk for... Hey, um... What in the f*** are you doing? Here's a photo of a cat seeing a Christmas tree for the first time. You're welcome. Aww... Humans. Aw, oh... oh. <laughs> Aww, the kitty loves the tree! Look, the magic of Xmas touches everyone! Cat... I'm gonna eat it. Father! Father, you must release me from your wretched grasp this moment, for I have found an opponent who is worthy. Right now I am smiling, for I am staring at the gates of Ahala, and once I'm inside, I will feast like no other kitten before me. Maxos, please not right now, I just finished putting up the tree. That means nothing to me, father! <sighs> I'm currently obsessed with the old lady in the store I overheard say, <laughs> Well, you know me, I can't resist the gnome. I want a sitcom where people gradually get killed off and their spot in the opening title theme is replaced with dead silence. Hey, um, I'd, uh, I'd like to question your definition of sitcom because that's, that's not a situation comedy, man. <laughs> And now we see the ball being passed to Snuggles, who's part of the offensive feline group. And here we see him participating in his favorite hobby, napping, as the ball rests gently next to his side. Snuggles, get your head in the fucking game! The earth is flat, flat, flat. You know what? I don't believe that the earth is real. Yes, our conspiracy, the conspiracy theorist. Good move. Ugh, god damn it. 
You little keyframe bastard. If I wanted you to move like that, I would have purposely told you to. Gotta fix you and move you into place. Look, guys, look. Oh, shit. I just found a new conspiracy theory. I thought I unplugged you. It proves that Stanley Kubrick was hired by NASA to fake the moon landings. See, Oz. Look. Jeez. I can't believe they thought they could hide something so obvious from us. <sighs> no, you little fool. Stanley Kubrick was a perfectionist. Think, Minnie. How would Stanley Kubrick get the perfect shot, huh? He had to be there, on the moon, directing them. Person with a Megamind picture. Instead of a stoic hero and a chatty villain, or a chatty hero and a stoic villain, imagine if they're both chatty and just the villain trying their best to kill the hero while the two of them have an in-depth discussion about their opinion of pumpkin spice. Villain uh, shoots laser. No, but seriously, orange is a really fun color. Hero, dodging. But your entire room? I'm not painting my entire room orange. Villain, uh, stabs at the hero and misses. Well then why did you ask for my opinion on paint colors if you're not going to listen? I mean, the Princess Bride. Oh, holy shit. Y you know, I I'm really sick of people being like, I wish there was something where, insert something that definitely already happened in Megamind. You should know this! So Anakin Skywalker does not use Jedi mind tricks. Not once in the films. Do you think that's a coincidence? Not on your life, buddy. Anakin Skywalker does not have it in him to overrule another being's free will. What the fuck are you talking about? He, he murders a bunch of children with a laser sword! Master Skywalker, what do we do? Sorry, kiddos. Instead of overriding your free will and making you a uh, Sith or whatever, I gotta kill you motherfuckers instead. <laughs> Super dick man's dick nursy. <laughs> <laughs> I am kink shaming all of Germany. So, okay, um, I, I, I don't want to be the one that says this. Is, is it better or worse if I tell you that nursy means nuts? And, and I mean, well, a, a, a dick also means, like, you know, fat or, or thick. This post only gets worse. Yeah, because it means super dick, man. It's dick nuts. Hiya, Tumblr. It's me, uh, Denny Wise. Would you like your pancake back? Take it. Denny's, I am going to drive directly to your restaurant and kill you with my bare hands. I wish I could get away with threatening corporations like this on Twitter, but I cannot. I would get banned. Permanently. Today I learned that Americans call a knob- <laughs> What? <laughs> Today I learned that Americans call a knob of butter a stick of butter. Who the fuck calls it a knob? Fuck you! <laughs> Foolish. Silly Americans call it a stick of butter instead of a thick throbbing cock of butter. <laughs> so I was uh, talking to an offline man named Tyler today who argued that TV isn't defied by interpretation the same way that music or books are because, quote, people don't have differing interpretations of, like, Tony Soprano, end quote. I would like to set him loose on Dean Girl Tumblr for 24 hours, like a gerbil in a snake exhibit. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm extremely distressed by the phrase offline man. I didn't catch it at first, but calling someone an offline man, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just, I, I just screamed. Octopus, gun in each hand. Cat, you're one short, buddy. This, uh, this took me longer than I'd have liked to get this. It only takes one bullet. You ain't got the nerve. Try me. You know, to be honest, if someone just handed me a pressure washer and set me loose in the streets, I, I would probably just go into a trance and just start hosing shit down indiscriminately. It's not a question of how much I could clean, but more of a 
how long until I get hit by a car and die? Name two foods with the same ingredients that otherwise bear no similarities whatsoever. French toast and an egg salad sandwich. You know, I... I told myself this post was a great idea, and I could live with whatever knowledge was unveiled, and it turns out that was unfounded conceit on my part. Please, bury me deep. Ugh, okay, so unfollowing. I had no clue he chopped down the entire forest and drove out all its wildlife and caused near irreversible damage to the world's ecosystem just to make some fuzzy, shapeless... <laughs> what? Yeah... You're simping over the once lurk and you didn't watch the fucking movie? Ugh. Come on, guys. I, I think we're blowing this way out of proportion. I mean, huh, how bad could it, uh... <laughs> yeah. I never really kind of understood the whole, like, once fandom because he's clearly kind of the bad guy and the exact opposite of what Tumblr likes, a capitalist who extorts the ecosystem for money. I mean, come on, the once is just a tall, lanky twink in a green suit with roughly scraggly hair. Like, what is there to- Fuck. Never mind. I, uh, I think the pot just called the kettle black. An Olympic cameraman stopped filming field hockey to focus on a cockroach in the game's final minutes. Baffling fans. The cockroach is shown during a 2020 Tokyo Olympic broadcast. So, according to my brother, the camera operators are told in advance when they're going to be cut to, or at least given a heads up. So, this guy assumed he was safe to use his camera basically as a pair of binoculars because he wasn't supposed to get the focus. But, the person who was switching between the camera feeds accidentally cut to his camera by mistake, instead of the one that was supposed to be filming. So they ended up televising what was supposed to be one man's private cockroach observation moment. <laughs> This is what spacing out in class and being called out feels like. Laughter from scientists. More laughter from scientists. <laughs> Discovered, immediately mocked by scientists. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Hey, nice Club Penguin sticker. That's mean. <laughs> I'm gonna do this from now on to oppress Linux users. Oh yeah, my new favorite conspiracy theory is that the lottery only exists to capture time travelers. I also now have a new favorite conspiracy theory. Huh. Hey, Minnie! What? Ah, Jesus fucking Christ, where'd you come from? Huh? I got, I, ugh, god damn. Can you, like, properly use the door next time? Anyways, I found a new conspiracy for you. God fucking damn it. This one is the perfect one to add to my collection. So, I went on a date with a girl last night, and I have purple hair and wore a purple top and purple eyeshadow, and she has a green chunk in her hair and wore a green t-shirt and green eyeliner. <laughs> Soulmates. Luigi x Waluigi. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so, like, the post that be like, if I were a monster that had to eat people, I would just eat horrible people are, are just so absurd to me. Like, how often do you see known criminals on the street, huh? Billionaires out for a nightly stroll around town? Effectively fucking never! If I have to drag myself to the grocery store, you think it's gonna be any easier for me to hunt Bezos and co every time my stomach growls? I can't be bothered to plan meals more than a day in advance. How am I gonna perform a whole ass detective work to confirm someone's a serial killer before I eat them? Y'all got that much time on your hands? Planning five course meals every fucking night of the week? Don't make me laugh. Eat a pedestrian and tragically wrestle with the guilt like the rest of us, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, what I just said there was pretty much a Venom quote. Oh my god. Fox. I'm sorry, my companion, but no. We all have our own destinies, and yours culminates here. I would not rob you of that gut <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Just a reminder that Bethesda actually thought this was an acceptable way to end a story.
me. Hey, uh, Fox, can you, like, walk five feet into this room and type, like, three numbers on a keyboard for me? Since, you know, I, I, I saved your life and all. My best friend, Fox. <laughs> you know, to be honest, dude, I could, but it'd be cool if you just fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right so we all know that fey folk are prone to kidnapping and imprisoning humans and yada 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 but like what do they actually do with them though like people keep replying keep them as pets and i, I thought that was just like tumblr being tumblr but apparently that's valid lore hey my human does tricks what kind of tricks yeah uh, i think it's called calculus Fay one. Well, my human can make people uncomfortable with just a few words. <laughs> oh, please. How in the nine realms can they do that? I want to lick your pointy ears, elf daddy. <laughs> what the f***? So right now my aunt is pissed and she's ranting on how the, you know, hashtag is an ampersand <laughs> and not a hashtag. I have never seen her so revved up on something so... Eh? Yeah, but, um... The, uh... The and symbol is... Is the ampersand. Uh, uh, not... That... It's the... That's... That's pound. Ha! <laughs> I'm about to go ruin her day! Thank you! Huh. I, uh... I wonder how this turned out. Queer hound. Deactivate. <laughs> there aren't killed them. <laughs> when the horse sees you lurking around his medicine cabinet. You know, I I feel like this was probably originally a ketamine joke, but like, here we are. God f damn it. Hey, you made it to the outro. That uh, it's it's pretty cool. What'd you what'd you think of this episode? It took forever to edit. It was, uh, it was quite quite the uh, thing to, to take on, editing wise. I even got some fatter of back sauce. Like it was it was that long of a schedule that I posted some stuff on Twitter and people made fan art before I was able to get the video up. That's it's pretty crazy. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Like, subscribe, do that kind of stuff. Oh, I have a shorts channel now, so check out Oz Shorts if you want to see sneak peeks at upcoming episodes. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time.